Section 9.3, number 10. Solve the following equation by the quadratic formula. 5x squared minus 7x minus 3 equals 0. Well, the first thing to do is compare this equation to the standard form of the quadratic formula. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, or a quadratic equation. And then we want to identify a, b, and c. So a is equal to 5 in the equation that we're given. b is equal to negative 7, so keep the sign in front of the variable. And c equals minus 3. And we're going to use those identified a, b, and c to plug into the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula tells us that as long as we start with an equation the same as ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then x will equal the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared take away 4 times a times c everything over 2a. So we're going to feed the a, b, and c into there. So let's go ahead and do it. x equals minus b, b is a negative 7, plus or minus square root b squared, 7 squared is 49, minus 4 times a is 5, c is negative 3, everything over 2 times a, which is 2 times 5. Right here, we have a subtract and a negative, so we're going to have those two negative signs canceling each other out. So we end up with x equals 7 plus or minus square root 49 plus 4 times 5 is 20 times 3 is 60 all over 10. So we just keep going and crunching away at it. x equals 7 plus or minus root 60 and 49 is 109. Everything over 10 still. And now the root 109, we would try to get it in simplest radical form. But this does not factor down, and there's nothing we can do to make it in simplest radical form. Or actually, it is in simplest radical form, as it is. There's nothing we can do to it. So we're going to leave it like that. And you can show the answer either like this, or you might notice in the My Math Lab software that you have to split up the two answers. So to split them up, You want to put one first, then a comma, then the other one. So let's take the positive sign first. x is 7 plus root 109 all over 10, comma. Or the second solution is 7 minus root 109 all over 10. And make sure that everything gets put over 10, not just the root 109. And you might have to try a few times to get the uh, template right using uh, my math lab when you're entering in your answers. It is can be a little bit tricky. Make sure that you turn off the root symbol before you go to put in your um, denominator of 10 or before you put in your comma, things like that, because you will get scored a wrong answer if your root symbol keeps going and the software doesn't recognize the answer. But as always, I check your answers on a test so that I'll see if it was just a weird, you know, a small software mistake that you made.